Hello friends, I welcome all of you. In this video, I'll show you how to upgrade a Nexus switch from existing 7.x version of NXOS to the newer version which is 9.3.13. Let's check the version first. Show version is the command to get the output or you can use the filter option to get the exact output. So you can see that the existing version of system file is 7.0.3.i4.9. Let's check what is the model of the chassis where I have logged in. Show version, again the same command or you can use the pipe include chassis option or keyword to get the exact output. It says that the model of this chassis is C9396PX. Okay. So let's uh, check the module. It has only one module because it's a non-modular chassis. It is not uh, 9500 series. So show module pipe include active tells you about the existing module and the uh, module number, which is again 9396. So now it is a time for us to check the MD5 value to ensure that the image which we are going to use for upgrade is intact and can be used. So I told you that uh, once you download the image from the cisco.com website, at that time it displays the MD5 value and you need to copy it and paste it in your notepad just for reference in future. So command to get the md5 value is show file space boot flash colon the file name and remember that the extension of the uh, system file is dot bin and at the end you have to use the keyword md5 sum or md5 short form so this is the value you can match it it must match else don't upgrade similarly we will check the md5 value for the EPLD image because we also need to upgrade the modules which we have and the extension of that EPLD file is .img don't forget that command is still the same show space file space the boot flash file path and then at the end space md5 so compare it with the value of the uh, cisco.com website I've seen cases where values don't match and uh, if we go for the upgrade, upgrade doesn't work. And before starting the uh, upgrade, we must check the impact of the image uh, which we are going to upgrade. Okay, so in this case, we want to upgrade our system to the newer version 9.3.13. So the command to check the installation of, uh, impact is show install space all space impact space annex os space boot flash colon the file name. So it will take around 2-3 minutes. Okay, so I have entered the wrong name here. Instead of n, I mistakenly typed mxos. So let me correct it. It will tell you the existing version and the new version. So give it around five minutes time. You can see that it is displaying the new version and also it is saying that upgrade is required. Yes. So it means we can do the upgrade. And let me show you the image which is there in my boot flash. I should have shown that to you in the earlier, but uh, you see that the image is there, both EPLD as well as the Annex OS. Command is very simple, dir space boot flash, colon then space, uh, you mention the file name after include. And now let's uh, install that. Command is very simple, install space all space Annex OS space boot flash, colon the file name first we have to upgrade the uh, system image and it will take around uh, 15 20 minutes to 
uh, upgrade because it will also go for the reload and if you have modular chassis then uh, it will take around 30 40 minutes for the upgrade of one image and if you have uh, planned to upgrade to multiple uh, levels like sometimes we cannot do direct upgrade so we have to do step by step so on uh, this upgrade will take huge time so don't don't worry about it you can see that it is it is showing the same information which we uh, got after running the command show space install and uh, it is also telling us to type in yes or no so i have typed in yes there is no other option by default is no so now it will take around uh, 15 minutes so you can keep on reading the you know outputs or uh, better that you pay attention to any possible error which may occur all right and uh, once the upgrade is done, it will go for the reboot. It is rebooting. So once you log in, it is it is possible that the modules may not be ready. So you have to wait for the system ready message to display on the screen. Otherwise, you can run the show module command to see the status of the module. It must say OK. OK. Without that, uh, don't think your upgrade has actually taken place it takes some time to upgrade the <coughs> uh, information in the module okay means modules also take time to reload you see that it is right now active it means it is fine now so you can check the version which is uh, present right now it will say 9.3.13 yes it is saying the same and after this, we'll go for the EPLD upgrade. So let's check which image has it used. Show install active. It says boot flash the new image. So let's check the uh, show install all status command. It displays the same information. It tells that the new image which is used. Now it is time for us to validate and see the impact of the EPLD image. The command is a bit different, okay? Show install all space impact space EPLD space boot flash colon the EPLD file name. It has extension dot IMG and hit enter. All means all modules. And if you want to verify the version, you can see that it is saying the existing version is this one, new version. 0x15 upgrade quite yes all right and to be able to check this uh, existing version the command is show version and then uh, module space one space uh, EPLD so you can check this uh, status module wise you cannot do module all so now let's install this install EPLD space boot flash colon this file space module space all remember this the keyword EPLD all right install EPLD space boot flash colon file name space module space all now it is retrieving the EPLD versions soon it will ask you to type in yes or no so let's wait for that so right now it is upgrading the primary FPGA region and after that okay type in yes here now it will take around 15 minutes so patiently wait wait for the system ready message to appear and after that uh, we have to upgrade the golden FPGA region as well Okay, so don't forget to upgrade the golden FPGA region. So this is that right now the primary FPGA region. So this is the reason we did not specify the golden command at the end. So install space EPLD space boot flash colon file name space module space all 
and for golden it will be space golden so not a rocket science same thing we have to upgrade the both fpga regions now it is reloading okay now it is displaying as the login window i have logged in with my id so let's check the module show module pipe include the module one it is still saying testing and then it will move to initialization then it will say active so wait for that thing to happen and after that you can do show version space module space one space epld let it happen first okay system is ready it is saying active show version space module space one space epld and if you have 9500 chassis then you can use module one module two three four so these are the versions so let's upgrade the golden fpga region as well command is simple install space epld space boot flash colon the epld file name space module space all space golden it is saying module upgradable it is retrieving the epld versions i need to type in yes otherwise it will not upgrade the same thing running version versus the new version so wait for upgrade to finally happen so here the running version and new version are same because uh, primary region is already upgraded so we are upgrading the golden fpga region so the same process now it is reloading the same 5 10 minutes don't worry at all login message has come st uh, stating system ready type in uh, temp admin which is my user id then password let's check the nx os version i know it will be 9313 only and now let's check the epld version for module 1 so our is actually done show show active install it basically tells you about the um okay let's check show install show install active tells you about the image which it has used for rebooting i mean uh, boot process for booting show install all status it tells you about the logs the very important logs so this concludes our upgrade so by chance if you have to downgrade don't downgrade the epld image that is fine simply downgrade the system image okay that is uh, important epld downgrade is not necessary you can choose to ignore that so the epld version can be different than the system file version But ideally it must be same so this is the nxos upgrade now you can start your services and uh, check if everything is okay or not thank you so much for your time have a nice day